Welcome back to Mavs Insider. There's live footage of Spencer Dinwiddie driving a Batmobile. Can you imagine having a car like that? He's a guy I want to learn more about. So we have dispatched Austin Ivan to find out more going baseline to baseline with Spencer Dinwiddie. We are going baseline to baseline with Spencer Dinwiddie, the Smoothie King himself. So, of course, I have to first ask you about smoothies. What's the most you've drank in one setting? Probably about like 80 ounces, 70, 80 ounces or so. How long did it take you to perfect your order? A couple years. I mean, I try to go with like low glycemic index fruits. Uh, I'm trying not to spike my blood sugar and be healthy at the same time. I've tried your signature one. It's pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Take me back to when you were a kid. You started playing basketball, a sport neither of your parents played. Yeah. Kind of what sparked that interest to play basketball? The story they tell me is when I was 18 months old, I used to ball up uh, paper towels and throw them in the trash. And so they got me in basketball because I had no interest in eating my uh, spaghetti at the time. Your dad didn't play basketball. Nope. But you do have a common interest in cars with him. Oh, for sure. Tell me about that passion and that bond you guys share. Ever since I, I can remember, my dad's love cars, so so uh, he works on a Porsche all the time. Uh, it's his baby, like a 1986 Turbo. And my favorite car is Koenigsegg Jumeirah, so look that up. I was going to ask your dream car, but is that yeah. your dream car? Yeah, Koenigsegg Jumeirah. Okay. I'm not going to ask financial advice, but okay. can you tell me what your favorite crypto coin is and why? Favorite crypto? Oh, Galaxy. Uh, dollar sign, CLXY, it's uh, from my company, so a shameless plug there. Yeah, you're going a little over my head with that, oh, but sorry. but okay. <laughs> Last thing, if uh -huh. basketball players had a walk-up song, what would yours be? That's tough. Anything that's not on Luca's playlist, because I can't get in the zone with that Serbian music. We can't let Luca on the ops. No, All right. never. That was Baseline to Baseline with Spencer Dinwiddie. I think I'm going to support Spencer on this one. He's right. Let's keep the auxiliary cable away from Luca. In fact, Spencer's right about a lot of things. For example, he's the first to tell you that he's the best chef on the Mavericks. But even knowing that, he's no match for Chef Lex. That's the executive chef for Dallas Mavericks operations, and she's really cool. And you're going to get to find out more about her right now. What's up, everybody? I am Chef Lex, the new executive chef to the Dallas Mavericks. So happy to be here with you. And today, I'm going to show you how I cook for my guys. So we'll be making a crispy halibut with a jalapeno arugula puree and quinoa pilaf. I love my colors. It is very healthy to eat your colors. We got some red pepper going in as a small dice, some orange peppers going in as a small dice, and I have some green already cut up in the bag. I feel like the facility is their second home, is where they spend most of their time. So I want when they come here, they're able to get a meal that makes them feel good, makes them feel comfortable, and that I know that they're gonna eat. And it's a championship mentality over here. I'm cooking my best every day and giving them my best every day so that they can perform. And not every player has the opportunity to have a private chef at home, so we want to give them that amazing experience here in their second home. Halibut is a really great meaty fish, white fish. It holds up flavor well. It holds up to a good cooking process, so I'm able to do a lot with it. This is a spice blend that I made myself. Onion powder, garlic powder, ginger, thyme a little bit of smoked paprika, and this is gonna give the halibut a beautiful color when we are crisping it up. So my next step is I'm gonna add the quinoa to my peppers. Add some salt. This is grapeseed oil. I'm adding about a tablespoon. And then to my pint of quinoa, I'm gonna add a little less than a quart of water. You don't want to overwater your quinoa. The quinoa is all white. We got lots of different beautiful peppers, so I'm going to add some chopped scallion. Because so many of our players have dietary restrictions, I use very little dairy in my cooking overall. If I can, I'm subbing out coconut milk, almond milk, oat milk. We always offer vegan cheese. Uh, for those that just need the fat, because not all our players are, it's about like being skinny. Some of our players are already skinny and trying to put on weight. 
A lot of my cooking style goes with, along with the eat for your blood type diet. I would like to cook in a way where each meal, each menu that I design has something for each of the designated blood types. I always want to make sure that yes, you can have what you like, but I need to give it to you in the way that you need. We got about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And we're using an induction burner. The heat's at about 350 here. So this is the start of my arugula puree. It has fresh arugula, garlic, avocado, and charred jalapeno, some salt, pepper, lemon juice, and a little bit of honey. So I have to check my quinoa. It's looking beautiful. It's fluffed up very nicely. Superstars like our guys and like our staff that eat at some of the best restaurants all the time. I want when they come here and they're eating this food that there is no, they don't feel like they're missing anything. Everything's execution is like key. I'm always trying to kick it up a notch. So we definitely have some mushrooms that I want to add to our pilaf. Mixing it in the pilaf, make sure the guys can't pick it out later. Also adds a nice depth of flavor. Just add very little grapeseed oil, a little pinch of salt, bring out the Yummy flavors of the mushroom. Our players are burning anywhere from two to 3,000 calories a day, so definitely not skimpy on portions. Here we have our avocado arugula jalapeno puree. Nice, bright, the flavors are incredible. Because we eat with our eyes, I like to make sure my food has color. Every single piece matters. Here we have our quinoa pilaf with crispy halibut, jalapeno, arugula, and avocado puree with a little charred lemon on the side. Help as well. Check us out. Wow, that looks delicious. And she was willing to make it just for the halibut. I guarantee you, your dad loved that joke. Look, we got lots more to go in Mavs Insider, including a look at assistant coach Sean Sweeney. That's all coming up next on Mavs Insider.